So hi everyone, it's Lewis here again. Um, bit of a rainstorm going on here, so you know the video is a bit grainy because it's got a little bit dark in here. But uh, hey ho, let's just uh, have a go anyway. And um, so today I want to talk about uh, a really important people topic and uh, something that particularly the HR community uh, has been interested in, which is how organisations use employee feedback and employee surveys. Uh, over the 2020 period when we're all likely to be responding to uh, both the COVID-19 health uh, crisis but also the subsequent economic impact that that's having on a lot of organizations right now. So MERS has been running a global um, pulse survey so uh, basically we reach out to client leaders and uh, HR managers and ask them what they are doing to respond effectively to during this time. And one of the things that we investigate is um, how they're supporting their employees uh, through the sort of mental impact and the experience impact that this is having on them. And what we're finding is less than half of organizations, again globally, uh, have uh, instituted um, programs to help with the psychological stress that's being created by you know, being stuck at home and, um, you know, maybe some of the anxiety around uh, what could happen to jobs and compensation and things like that. Um, fewer than 30% have said that they are using uh, techniques to help people find some, you know, calm in, on all of this, you know, for example, mental wellness moments and those sorts of things. And less than 20% are creating any sort of structured employee feedback program to really understand and learn about the impact this is having on people. So, you know, we see a huge opportunity here to create a much more scalable, structured way of understanding people's experiences so that the organization can really communicate more effectively and solve the problems that employees are really facing as they try to maintain their productivity. So I thought I would uh, just share some ideas about how to um, handle this. And, you know, for us, uh, the entire employee feedback space can be broken down in the way that we've been looking at it into two main areas. Um, the first is if we think of surveys, you know, and surveys are still a really useful tool because, frankly, it's the most ethical way to find out about how people are thinking and feeling at, uh, about their work right now, you know, asking them to, to tell us. Um, we can break those uh, surveys down into mostly two main categories, cyclical surveys, ones that run every so often, you know, maybe uh, measuring concepts that don't change that much, like employee engagement, and always on surveys that uh, are run more frequently to understand key aspects of the employee experience. And a lot of organizations we're talking to now are starting to think about pulse survey programs that can really start to uh, identify challenges with, for example, changes in the organization culture, um, uh, building community, challenges for, with remote work, uh, just understanding if managers and leaders are providing the right kind of support. And, you know, all of the areas that we know right now are particularly critical as organizations go through this period and employees try to uh, maintain their productivity. The other side of this is what we call more purpose-driven or focused uh, um, employee feedback interventions where we might, for example, use a technology to understand employee preferences uh, around what kind of support they might need right now, you know, what's the top ranked or lowest ranked uh, uh, intervention that they would see as useful or, you know, what benefits are they getting the most out of, what benefits are they getting the least out of right now, or a deeper dive on topics like inclusion, stress, mental health, using technologies like a digital focus group. So, you know, huge range of opportunities here uh, for, to use more structured employee feedback to really understand uh, how people are thinking and feeling and uh, to take in actions in order to support people uh, through this period. The other thing just uh, that I think is interesting is we've seen some organizations also start to use things like employee network analysis and organization network analysis, just to see how information is moving through the organization now that people can't be physically together and to try and understand uh, how the network is functioning, uh, and whether or not it's creating a healthy uh, response to, to the um, current situation or 
uh, whether or not an intervention is needed. So there's lots of opportunities to use more data through this time. I'd love to know uh, what you've been up to, you know, what kind of programs have, have you been using to support people, what kind of feedback are you using, and uh, you know, how have you been taking action on that data? Let us know in the comments.